Welcome to the virtual tour of the new church building located on the corner of Dog and Gun Lane, Weston. Our objective is to provide an update on the current status and progress and to outline to you the next phase of the development. The opening sequence gives a 360 degree aerial view of the site. The key features of the building which can be clearly identified are the worship space and its curved wall, the internal street with its glazed roof allowing in natural light and the sports hall. As we enter through the main entrance, we have a level access through two double glass doors. The internal street and cafe. As we enter into the internal street, we are now looking down towards the cafe and preparation area, which is intended to provide refreshments to the church and the wider community as part of our community outreach program. Looking at the floors, we can see that they have now been screeded and the underfloor heating is in process of being commissioned. So we now have a watertight shell with the superstructure and initial mechanical fit completed and we're ready for the first and second fix for electrical, lighting and interior finishes to areas within the next phase. So as we walk down the internal street, everything to the left hand side of this internal street on the ground floor is in scope. So let's walk into the worship area. So as we take a left off the internal street, we enter into the main worship area. This is the focal point of the building and there will be a glazed partition wall with double doors into the worship area. Looking back towards the stage you can see the baptistry is set into the stage and behind you can see there is an opening which lets in natural light. The seating capacity of this area is approximately 300 and in addition there is a balcony area which can accommodate between 50 to 100. So that gives us a total capacity of, of around about 400 people. Either side of the worship area, we have storage rooms on the ground floor and on the first floor. On the right hand side, we have a plant room, which houses the boiler and services for the building. Looking up to the roof space, we see some lovely wooden beams in the roof and a steel structure. As we walk back into the internal street, there will be a male and female toilets and a lift providing access to the first floor. On the right hand side, front section, will be a series of meeting rooms. These will be blocked off in the short term as they are not part of this next phase. The children's ministry area, which is in the right hand side corner of the internal street, is a purpose-built area specifically designed to hold the children's ministry. An office is on the left-hand side and then two big spacious rooms left and right with lovely windows letting a lot of light into the spaces. A key design point is that this area is self-contained and with a single entrance from the internal street so it can be used during the week without crossover with other church activity, which will be good from a flexibility and safeguarding perspective. Within the area are toilets and washing facilities and all the associated services. The entrance to the children's ministry area is via the internal street with access to external play areas from each teaching space. Next we will go upstairs to the first floor. There are two staircases that give access to the first floor area. On the right hand side of the first floor is a large sports hall, big enough to have two full size badminton courts. It could also support things like five-a-side football, 
basketball, netball, lots of other indoor type sports for the church and the wider community. Again, this area benefits from lots of windows which provide lots of natural light. This area is currently not in scope for the next phase and will need funding to be completed. Off the sports hall, there is a kitchen which will be used for church functions, maybe wedding receptions, etc. Ultimately, this will be a fully kitted out kitchen when the building is completed. This is another area not currently in scope and requiring funding. Next to the kitchen are some storage rooms. And then as we walk out into the internal street again, we look left and we can see the main entrance with the glass letting in lots of natural light. There will be a staircase from the ground floor onto the first floor, which will be a feature. And then looking down the internal street, we can see the youth pod. This will be an area where children's ministry for the older children will take place via a bridge leading to an isolated pod. Now coming across on the first floor, we have access to the balcony of the worship space. This gives us a great view of the worship area. Seating in this area will be between 50 and 100 people in total. Initially, this will not be tiered, but could be in the future to maximise visibility and capacity. To the right of the balcony is a corridor. This gives access to a series of meeting rooms and offices for the church team. There are a total of four offices available with a Reprographics admin room. There are also plans for upstairs male, female and accessible toilets and showers. However, these are not in scope for the next phase. So now we're going back downstairs into the internal street and out of the main entrance. The development will also be focused on the externals of the building to ensure the car park and external paving finishes are completed within the overall programme schedule. I sincerely hope this virtual tour has provided you with an overview of the size and scale of the building, the current status of the build on site and an outline of the amazing potential that this development brings to the church and wider community. Please continue to support this important project with your prayers, funding, and as we get closer to the building being completed, we will be looking for volunteers to help in working groups to complete some tasks in readiness for moving into our new church building.